Hello and welcome to the official Cohen America video assistance for the D2 MP3 and portable me multimedia player. We are providing the service to help customers get a bit more familiar with our product. The D2 has a built in 2.5 inch 16 million color touchscreen. It has SD SDHC expansion capability and up to 52 hours continuous playback for music and about 10 hours for movies. It is one of a kind on the market with the touchscreen ability. Let's get started with the exterior description of the D2. The top of the D2 has a multifunctional power and hold switch which is used to turn the unit on or on hold function to help unwind external human interference while the player may be in your pocket or your bag. The D2 has a standard menu and volume controls located on the top of the player along with the power and hold switch. In between the menu and volumes is also located the microphone. On the side of the D2, you can see there's a location the earphone jack, and if you open the slot here, you can see the USB connection jack and the extension DC adapter port. Between those ports, you can see that the reset button is located, and that function can be activated by the use of the colon stylus that is provided or the use of a paper clip or a pin. Just insert and press. Okay. And on the bottom of the player is the location of the SD extension slot. And in the slot you can hold up to 2 GB and up using SD cards. SD card is not included. And let's go try navigating the item. Once you turn the power on, you'll be located on the main menu screen. Once on the main menu screen, you have seven folders to navigate on D2. You can view music, you can view video, you can view picture, text, FM radio, record, or settings. The D2 is a touchscreen unit that comes with the stylus. Use the stylus to touch once to choose the feature you want. Touch the selected feature twice to open the folder. A lot of our customers use the D2 with their fingers and it seems to be quite convenient. The D2 is provided with a plastic screen cover for the manufacturer and it keeps the screen protected from greasy fingers. Okay, and let's explore the music folder. Once you enter the music folder, you can choose music files that you can upload using your Mac or your PC. When in the browser under the music list, click the function here under browser, go to music list. Uh, there is a unique function in this particular area that we call the virtual motion. It is a way to scroll both vertically and horizontally by just a stroke of your stylus. So let's enter the music file and with the stroke. You can scroll through the music that you have uploaded onto your D2. That's vertically and horizontally to go back to the folders that you wish. Okay, let's close out of there. And we'll move to the video. Under the video folder you can navigate to the browser and choose the movie list. Like so to view the files that you have uploaded on your D2 or on the SD memory extension card. <coughs> Choose the files you wish to play and just double touch the file. So you go on the list and choose the file you want. There we go. And that's how the video plays. Just choose menu to get out. And to pictures. As you can see that you have there's pictures loaded in the D2 already. And you can store folders of pictures that you can be download that can be downloaded via USB cable or from through your PC or through the extension slot for the SD memory. Double touch the picture and you can just scroll through whatever pictures may be available. Like so okay, we'll close out of there. And back to the main menu. 
and we also have a text folder for text documents. You open that, and here you can also use the virtual touch scroll function with, your, with the stroke of your stylus. It just automatically scrolls for you once you do that. Back to the main menu. And let's see the FM radio function. The radio feature is as simple as using the radio on your automobile or home theater system. You can go about scanning through the FM stations using the scanner buttons and you also have the ability to preset stations as you wish if you go under settings. There's a preset option there. Go about scrolling through. As you can see. Or just choose the channel you want. And another nifty thing um, under the radio is that you have the radio record option on the player itself and that way you can record whatever station or channels that you wish at a certain time. Okay, let's just close out of there. Back to the main menu. Next folder is the record folder. Here you can record voice record whatever you like. It's very simple to use. To the record and with the microphone located on top of the player, like so. Just speak through and your voice should be recorded. Just stop. Back to the main menu. The last folder that we have here is the settings menu. Uh, under this folder you have the options to mess around with the sound quality or you have the ability to control the display, play mode, timer, recording, or the FM radio. And this is used at your own discretion. Okay. And that's all the folders here that we have for the D2. In all, the D2 is a versatile and one-of-a-kind player on the electronics market. The D2 is DRM10, and there is firmware updates available on our official website, www.cohenamerica.com. It is actually, uh, the firmware that is uploaded on there is currently version 2.41 beta, and that can be downloaded at any time for the D2 players. The D2 is available in the United States in black and white, 2 gig, 4 gig for the black, 4 gigs for the white model. You can also purchase all accessories for the D2 at www.jetmall.net. Um, and that concludes our presentation for the D2. Thank you for your time, and we hope you enjoy your player. Thank you.